Exam 1 Rapper Problem 1, Morgan Jackson, Dr. Greco, Section MO2. Let's start by looking at the question itself. We have a pelican diving into the water with an initial speed of 15 meters per second and at an angle of 20 degrees from the vertical line perpendicular to the water. The pelican also experiences a drag force as it enters the water with the speed of its velocity cubed. The goal is to write the necessary code to protect the motion of the pelican. The first objective is to add in the initial velocity of the pelican as it enters the water. We know that the pelican comes in at an angle of 20 degrees, so we can make a right triangle to help see these values. We also know that the hypotenuse of this triangle, the initial start speed of the pelican, is 15 meters per second. So, we can use trig properties to solve for x and y components of this velocity. This is a vector, so in vPython we have to use the correct formatting. The answer is shown at the bottom. Also notice that the y component is negative because the pelican is traveling downward in the negative y direction. The next part is the largest and we are asked to write the code necessary to update the pelican's position. We first need to write an expression for f net. Here the forces acting on the pelican are the weight force and air resistance. Let's start by writing an expression for the weight force. Weight force can be expressed as mg. However, the weight force here is in the negative y direction. This force can be shown as negative mg. We need to write this in vector form because the initial velocity of the pelican was written in vector form. The x and z components are both zero and the y component is negative g times pelican.m where pelican.m is the variable for the mass of the pelican. The next step is to calculate air resistance. Remember the problem gave us a formula for the air resistance being the velocity cubed. We also have to factor in the, propor the proportionality constant b that was given to us in the problem. Here's how this expression can be written. We also have to keep this in vector form which is why mag2 of pelican.vel is written outside pelican.vel. The final step in getting fnet is just to add those forces together. We need to create a line of code that combines the force of air and the force of the earth that we just calculated previously. This is shown circled at the bottom. From fnet we can calculate the final velocity using Newton's second law. V final equals V initial plus fnet over m times delta t. This, the line of code to calculate this is shown here. Remember to use the right variable names, pelican.vel for velocity of the pelican and pelican.m for mass of the pelican. You can use pelican.vel for final and initial velocities because you are updating the velocity and you can overwrite that initial variable. Finally, we can see the position using the definition of velocity. x final equals x initial plus v final times delta t. This line of code is shown here. Again, remember to write the correct variable names in order for the code to run properly. Here's the final answer. Make sure to include each individual part because each counts for four points as listed on the side. Thanks for watching.